Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round, and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Well, certainly a great opportunity for this player to bounce back in this rivalry. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement that these two generate. And let's see what he can do here today. Nicely done. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Full of confidence as well with their putter. Got to like their chances. What an opportunity to make a Birdie. Looking good. Well, Rich, that's ideal. A Birdie to start the day. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. Here we are at the second tee. Second shot on the second. Going with the six iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That was special. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. That had eyes for it. Lovely shot. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? Yeah, she's down. She's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Wow, what a save. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. And coming off the Eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Good looking shot, this. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got around 135. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. 
taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Oh, good look at birdie here. I like the look of this. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently at minus four for the round. Now we're on the fourth tee here at Jacobson Homestead, and it's a par three playing. 181 off the back tees. Yeah, that's about as far as you're going to see this part of three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron in your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? What are we looking at for this part, Henny? This one will run uphill. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to five under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And now we find ourselves with a par four here. That dog will hunt. Second shot here on the fifth. Should find the green here. And another fine looking strike this one. It'll find the green. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful out of the sand. OK, time to return to the action. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And that's their fourth booty of the day. This player is putting for fun. Trailing by seven after that hole. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Rich, one of the big advantages for the experienced players on tour is their history around particular courses. But what advice would you give to the new players who are coming to a course for the first time and how to handle it? I would say tread easily. Go in there and just try to get into a good rhythm on the golf course. Don't try and go out and try and hit too many heroic shots or go after too many flag sticks because if you don't know what the consequences are if you don't pull off that shot well shame on you so i think that the veterans obviously have more knowledge about golf courses and they can say well i don't want to miss it there because that's dead i've seen it happen before when you go into a new golf course luke you got to go in with it and just try and play a little bit on the defensive side don't get too greedy don't try and make too many things happen go in there find some fairways find some greens hole a few putts here and there Get some confidence going first before you start attacking pins.
This is full send. Sitting at minus seven. Putting for birdie here. It's on a good line. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Our current leader is up by three shots. Time to play one of the one-shotters. <laughs> Opting for the hybrid, I think. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. Not a bad approach. Will be putting. And this putt to move into the top ten. Oh, just missed. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Well hold. Let's move on. He's in a share of 12th place. Time now to begin the ninth hole, Rich. And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. Sitting at minus eight in their round. Trying to break into the top ten. Opting for the nine iron. This one might need to sit. That was a beauty. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. And back to the play, shall we? This putt right on 10 feet. A good one to make. This is their look at birdie. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Oh, that's a ripper. And he'll move into the top 10. So, as we head into the back nine, Rich, what are your thoughts on this player? Well, after nine, so far, so good. It's great to see these two players stepping up, getting the best out of the games. It'll be interesting to see exactly who's going to be ahead at the end of the tournament. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 10th hole.
Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. This putt to move into a share of second place. Oh, so close. No, that's too bad. And this part to move into the top five. Well, that's certainly a step in the right direction. Keep it going. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. Wow, that's an incredible drive. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? And Justin Thomas goes right at the flag stick and gets the ball to drop. That's just what the doctor ordered. And this putt to move them into a tie for second. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Got to like their chances from there. Better than most. That's a good punt to make, that one. Now moving over to Lexi Thompson. She made bogey, gave one back on the last hole. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. about that for a par tough bunker shot no bother whatsoever for this player they find the bottom of the cup our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead here we have a long par four it's going to take two great shots to get on
Well, well played. And what are we looking at here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. Oh, that's a great approach shot. And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. Sitting at minus 13 for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. And yeah, we find ourselves on the tee, one of the stronger par fours on the back nine here at Jacobson Homestead. The 14th playing 483, Rich, from the tips. Yeah, generous landing area, thankfully out to the right-hand side. Obviously a bunker down the left, and if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right-hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. I'll tell you what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about... 145 yards. That should find the surface. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Close to the surface here, the green side rough. Didn't that look good for a long time? Just a full footer remaining. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Oh, how about that one? And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. He leads the field by a stroke. Going with a seven. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. Ah, great shot. Just six feet between he and the hole. A chance to get two back on the course here. This one for Eagle. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Coming off an Eagle at the last. Momentum on their side for this player. That could play. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. They're lining up the birdie putt here. It's got a chance. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Let's take a look at Lexi Thompson, shall we? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Yeah, that was silky smooth out of the sand. Good shot. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That a boy. Good shot. 
from around 180 yards out. Currently leading by a three. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Great looking shot this. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. Who's getting on a roll now? That's back to back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Leading by a couple after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Rich, we find ourselves at the finishing hole here at Jacobson Homestead. And, and it seems strange to be playing it just at 400 yards. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees and you can't miss it to the left hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right. But now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. That one should find the surface. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot.